You love Jesus, and you're saved by Jesus. Horatius Bonar says, "If they loved him, they would seek him out. They, their soul will not be satisfied with just those words. They must know why. Do you know why you're saved by Jesus?" Did you know that it's a marriage covenant that saves you? He covers you as the husband and brings you blameless before God. Did you know that all godly brides are blameless before God? And in order to be the bride of Christ, you must be divorced from everything in the world. Every bride is by the Father. We get one Father in heaven. Thus. He is in heaven. So, as one father, if you don't cover your bride, he covers her for you. All daughters, all mothers, don't lose their name. Fathers do. We get one father, two mothers. Okay, Christ tells you this, and Philip, he tells you this in the four canonicals. This is an outline through the whole of the book. Most people pass over this. It is by the marriage covenant, and that all godly brides are blameless before God. Well, that's what Adam did wrong. He did not cover Eve. Adam, where are you? So, when the father is approaching, now it's the ruach that approaches, but the father covers the wife. Okay. That's also why you never see the Lord's face, as He puts the hand over Moses, tells him he can see the back. He says, "No one sees my face and lives." Well, what he means is no one sees my wife's face. That's the face. That's the the veil that's rent. Okay, that's to let you know the marriage covenant. It's finished. Well, that is how you're saved. Is you married to the Word, the Word of God. You fill up with. This is the husband's role, and the wife's role is to the husband, and the the husband is usually to die before the bride, him being on the wall, him covering the city gate, and she doing the work, the labor, and the children. Well, when he passes, she then takes his role. He's supposed to fill her up with the work, the same way that Adam does for Eve. That's why God talks to Adam so that he takes the blame. He's on the front. He's the covering to bring her blameless. The same thing that Christ does for us.